turn with me this morning to the third chapter of the book of Ephesians, verses 14 and 15. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. There is a word from the Lord. When you find it, say amen. If you head out there, say, hold on, Pastor, I'm getting there. I heard shades of hold on, Pastor, I'm getting there. Ephesians chapter 3, 14 and 15. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole world in heaven and earth is named. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Take your neighbor by the hand and look your neighbor in the eye and say, Neighbor, neighbor. the family that prays prays. is blessed. blessed. Amen. That's what I want to talk about for just a few minutes this morning. We are starting our prayer campaign today. We are kicking off our home port's first phase of things we can do at home. And the first thing that we ought to do is pray. You do realize that it happens after prayer. Look at somebody and say, it happens after prayer. Look the other way and say, prayer changes things. Look behind you and say, little prayer, little power. Much prayer, much power. Great prayer. Great power. power. Anybody here need some power this morning? Some power in the Lord will make a difference in the life of your family. It's important that we understand that God does hear and answer prayer. I think sometimes we don't have the prayer life that we should have because some of us may not truly believe that God is a prayer answering God. He may not do what you want him to do, just like you don't do everything folk ask you to do. But you weigh it out. And the things that are right, you do. I hope. Because that's what God does. God knows us. He knows our situation. He knows all about us. And one of the things that I'm finding is, is that even though we are Christians, we are not a praying people. We have confessed Christ as our personal Savior. We have said that he is Lord of our lives. We've said we know that prayer changes things. It happens after prayer, great prayer, great power. But when it really boils down to it, we don't pray. Let me see the hands of everybody who prayed seven days this week. Now, don't even raise your hand. I don't want to mess nobody up. Some, that's all right. Some of them got their hand way up. I said, don't raise them. But they want us to know. Seven days of prayer is a great time of prayer. I want to encourage everybody to pray every day. Seven days of prayer. I want you to pray every day with and for your family. You see, because prayer time with your family every day will make a difference in your family's life. See, a whole lot of us 
didn't pray at all with our families this week. A whole lot of us didn't spend any time in prayer this week. But I'm going to tell you, God's people got to pray. Because when we pray, it makes a difference. Am I talking to anybody out there this morning? Our prayer plan, as you saw last week, was a 752 prayer plan. Seven days a week you pray with your family. Five days a week you pray with your spouse. And two days a week you pray by yourself. Amen? That means that you're going to be praying a couple of times every day. Now, when I say prayer with your spouse, if you don't have a spouse and you're single, that means you get on the phone, you call your mama, you call your daddy, you call your brother, or you call your sister. Somebody that you depend on that is a part of your family and you have your prayer time with them. Amen? Prayer is so important. I think we really miss it in prayer. And then we expect for everything to be right in the lives of our family, in, the, in our own personal lives. And I think if we could pray, we could start to change the course of action. When we talk about what's going on in our communities, we talk about uh, out of wedlock births, we talk about uh, divorce rates, we talk about uh, couples having so many marital problems, we talk, we talk about all of the things that uh, are going on in our society that we ought to be praying about, y'all. You see, because I found that prayer really makes a difference when we make a decision to pray. You see, when we pray with our, our families, we can pray for almost everything. There's nothing that we shouldn't be lifting to God in prayer. Are y'all with me this morning? I went on the internet and I found some family prayers things that people would put on the internet and they said, I want you to pray for me in this area. And one of the prayers that came out said, dear God, please help my family. In the last two years, we've had, a deal, had to deal with suicide, cancer, drugs, and alcohol addiction too. Please give us strength to lean on each other Instead of pushing each other away, we are constantly arguing instead of coming together. Please help us to turn to each other and get through these times. We all have faith in you. Dear Lord, please help my family to overcome all of the difficulties we are dealing with now. Please remove hate jealousy, bickering, separation, and fighting with one another. Dear Lord, please help my son to see the error of his ways and stop keeping me separated from my grandson because you see his genuine love for me and you are jealous but he loves us all and shows it in different ways. He is only a child. You must teach him not to hate. That's just one prayer I found on the internet. But it says to me that prayer for the family really makes a difference. And prayer with the family will make a difference. You know, you ought to start every day you ought to wake up early enough where everybody can come together if it's not but just a few minutes for a word of prayer before you leave the house. You ought to start the day with prayer. You'd be surprised what a difference it will make in your family's life. 
See, one good thing about it is y'all all sleep in the same house every night, right? Y'all got to get up in the morning, right? So what's wrong with getting up early for a few moments of prayer? And if you're single, what's wrong with getting up early and dialing the phone and developing a prayer partner that you can then pray together with? 